yeah uh, so thanks guys uh, for giving me the opportunity so uh, basically i took this i came across this uh, uh, from uh, this website from that azure uh, certification i took that also z104 that was a very nice certification which was provided earlier and then i did a few courses from here and recently found this particular aws uh, practitioner part so and i also saw the sample certificate which is really really nice so i am aws uh, certified already and uh, i have a solutions architect as well as practitioner so practitioner as you all know like it's a beginner level of certification so here i just want to show my screen for a few uh, minutes if you don't mind so i have prepared some slides uh, which might help yeah so here we are so we are basically uh, uh talking about this aws cloud practitioner exam and that is provided by them so aws is also having the same kind of certification as we all know say aws certified cloud practitioner which is a foundational level of certification mostly the very beginners and uh, the i mean people who are having very less knowledge or a beginner level of knowledge in cloud computing and the pre sales guys they do it and here it is the overview uh, that is a 90 minutes uh, exam 100 usd and 65 questions are there taken by a pearson view or psi but from 1st of jan it's only going to be view so that is the global certification all about which uh, my candidates also wrote uh, then i came across this and this is uh, we all know it's a very cheap 600 inr only and we have 30 questions that we need to uh, do in one hour and there are two sections uh, i think the format remains the same for everybody so there are two sections uh, first section comprises of 15 questions and second section also 15 questions and delivery method is definitely online online proctored camera is on so after the exam i could remember few points uh, so the cloud resource management classes so th this was a very new to me actually it was uh, i mean i did not came i did not come across this particular point in uh, like in my solutions architect i mean this thing and all so i searched it in google and then i found a, a url it is not there in aws uh, official documentation also i could not found, find it maybe it's there but it was there in a kind of engineering site that question was from there so it's more of a you know uh, in depth technical knowledge theoretical knowledge which we normally if somebody goes for a cloud computing mca cloud computing or mtech cloud computing like that level which i found then they asked a question this is good cloud provisioning process i mean uh, what are the different processes and which one is best suit uh, probably there were four use cases and i had to select any one of it and the uh, tags one question was from tag tag as we all know it's nothing but a label so they gave uh, four options like uh, which is the best fit for the utilization of tag then uh, yeah cloud automation there were two questions for me uh, one was like uh, there were they gave four uh, use cases for cloud automation and i had to select uh, any one of it and system provisioning yes automation system provisioning that was another point uh, disaster recovery there were two questions i mean uh, recovery plan basically dr plan so it was like uh, a sequence like what you need to do if there is a disaster what we should do so what are the four steps steps are given we just need to select the proper order then it was very straight forward question like uh, which software component in aws handles oracle and this this we all know like rds so there were very few question i think two to three questions directly from the service all were conceptual and then uh, i think there was one question from elb elastic load balancer i mean one use case was there so i i mean they wanted like 
uh, what kind of VLB we should suggest to the customer, whether it's a kind of uh, application load balancer or uh, gateway load balancer, or maybe classic load balancer like that. Uh, there was again a very good question i was expecting some a few questions from uh, networking uh, that is vpc so there are so many things in vpc but they did not ask anything nothing uh, direct about uh, like nat or uh, subnet uh, network access control list no nothing it was the same question enhanced networking provides one two three four four points were there and uh, yes, the first one, I can still remember, higher bandwidth, it was there, it was the correct answer. And if you see the second uh, uh, point, which I took from Google, it is written as higher packet per second. In exam, they gave it, but they made it lower packet per second. So it was wrong, like that. It was so tricky. But anyway, I did it earlier, so I could manage it, but it was uh, really, I mean, good thing, it was not, it's a high level of practical practical knowledge required and then only we can uh, do this. Otherwise we have to directly know the answer. Then systems manager, fleet manager, yes. So there was one question from there. And uh, yeah, AWS config, it was also there. Like uh, it was something like, uh, key, I want to visualize the entire AWS infrastructure in terms of uh, configuration uh, management. So what could be the uh, facility or service that AWS provides? So four options were there, AWS config, cloud trail, cloud formation, and cloud watch. But I have written uh, these uh, four points also, I mean, three points also, cloud trail, cloud formation, and cloud watch. So because I could find uh, one or two questions from these also, so we need to give focus on this specifically on cloud watch and cloud trail because uh, for logs there were two three questions this is the question which i have taken directly from one of my dumps i mean which i followed uh, before i wrote uh, aws cloud practitioner exam so i found this question was exactly same you can see this is an image this is not a handwritten one exactly this question came there it was like which service protects the accounts and workloads from unauthorized access and which service identifies threats for monitoring the network activity. So they gave four options, uh, two answers each. Let's say threat detection and IAM, identity and access management. Then threat detection and S3, like that. Some abnormal answers. So we need to find any one where both of the answers are correct in respect to these two, I mean, scenarios. Uh, this was, uh, I mean, there were two questions uh, related to uh, this thing, uh, EC2 instance performance. So uh, they were asking like, what is the metric that is used for uh, monitoring the EC2 performance, EC2 instance performance. So that we normally do in a uh, cloud watch, like uh, CPU utilization, memory utilization, uh, then bandwidth, disk IO, read and write. So four options were there, you have to choose one of it. KPI, KPI, uh, it was a major thing. I mean, I got, I think, two questions from KPI. And uh, one question was straightforward, this one, which type of KPI measures the hardware and network of AWS cloud? So it was basically like performance KPI. So here you need to study, like you need to Google a bit, uh, what are the different KPIs? What are the advantages and use cases for each and every KPI? And uh, the second question uh, was like, they gave one uh, small scenario and they uh, asked like to map the particular KPI with that. So it was basically based on application performance KPI. So if I uh, read KPI properly and uh, I should be able to answer. And then cloud trail, yes, uh, there were questions from log monitoring. Billing model, yes, two questions were there. Uh, what we can do through billing model, what permission is required, uh, that is, that was there. What we can't do. These three things uh, need to be clear. Platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, software as a service. One question was there. Given a scenario, 
I had to correlate. One question was there, like uh, they wanted to say, like, let's say you are picking up some services from this cloud and some services from that cloud. What kind of cloud is this? So we need to be very, very clear about hybrid cloud and multi-cloud. Both are different. So uh, I mean, I think uh, the I mean the question for me the question was answer was multi-cloud. So these are the two topics that we have to be very, very clear. Then only we can give the answer of that particular scenario. And one question was there, like, if I want to analyze the, I mean, if I want to prepare a budget or I want to analyze like from where I have got the billing, from which service, how to analyze that. So cost analysis tool, that was the point there. Billing model, yes, one question was there from billing. Earlier also I said, ops box. This is again, uh, I mean, I could only do it because I had a bit of idea about uh, sysops. So uh, the question was not directly from ops works. It was related to logs. And, uh, but the point was ops works. That, that's what I can remember. I can't remember much of it, but a question was based on ops works, but related to log. That is what we need to focus here. And this was the question direct. I could remember very easily this one. Like, like after uh, storing systems, log data in AWS cloud, how long or how much time it takes uh, that log data to be available for export. Four options were there, one day, 12 days, 12 hours, something like that. So again, this is the question related to log. And this is one thing which I have given. One question was from here. So why I have given this uh, pictorial image over here, just to help you out over here. In my case, they had given this one. And uh, they uh, were asking, like, uh, uh, which service is this? So options were there, ELB, EC2, EBS, and all. So it was EC2. Uh, so when you will be giving the exam, I mean, it's not necessary they will give this. They might give this, that, and all. So that's why I've given this particular picture over here. So this was one question from there. That is all which I can remember, I think. Uh, 20 to 22 questions, I could remember. 23, 24 questions. Yes, this was for this enough my for people to pass, I guess. So, out of 30. <laughs> that was great. Time. So, Hin, uh, so, what you would suggest is from AWS service perspective, understand the services essentially, but uh, also, I didn't understand the pictures also, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. One question was yeah, so that means yeah, if you go through all their pages, I mean, you understand the flow or the exactly. system, and then exactly you were talking about man. You are when you are saying about flow. Exactly, there was a question on flow also. Like when let's say uh, they had they give they had given one scenario, and uh, they had given four sequences: one, two, three, four arrow. So you go to the console, open this. Like we do now, like if I want to open MS Word, I click on uh, start, then programs, like that. So that was also the sequence, one question, like that. Basically, one should have at least tried their hands on creating yeah. a EC2 instance on the Amazon uh, free account. Otherwise, you would not remember these steps, right? If you wouldn't have done it. Exactly so. Okay. We have Siddharth also here. Siddharth, would you like to uh, talk, uh, ask something because I'm trying to promote you because since there are not many people uh, to panelists. So would you like to ask something? Uh, you are very uh, feeble, but uh, try asking something else. Okay. Uh, so I just uh, started with AWS. Uh, so, uh, like, uh, I went to the recordings and all, uh, so I know, jotted down the points also, but uh, I wanted to know how I can get certified in that. Uh, okay, I think I got it. Like, once you have finished the course, right, uh, Sita? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah once you finish the course, 
upload a screenshot from the aws skill builder from dashboard activity my activity where it shows your name and uh, you know the course completion right you upload it in etnas and uh, then they will open the mock assessment for you once that is done uh, then you can proceed to the final assessment okay uh, so uh, like uh, now uh, cyber security is also coming so uh, both the courses are available and cyber security so uh, both, i can complete both of them so they both are very different course siddharth so aws is a different course and uh, obviously you have to do it differently you have to the reason we had this call today with tohin is because a lot of people felt there is the the assessments are very difficult uh, and also we thought if there is some support it will just push anybody who is sitting in the border you know cross it so here uh, Uh, you will take this one first because cyber security we've just started learning now right so it is a long way we will only do it in couple of weeks you may forget aws whatever you've learned by then so complete this course assessment now okay so uh, i need to go through the module then the assessment last term assessment and the uh, amazon assessment both are different the uh, cloud solution architecture assessment yeah it's different like tohin said that's a 100 dollar assessment this is a 600 rupees assessment that is uh, this is yeah like our own government i'll share the link if you want in the chat of the mock assessment first you take the mock that will give you at least an idea where you are and then take the assessment okay and that's all thank you Shilata, you are on mute. Actually, man. Oh, sorry. So, a lot of questions uh, on that first slide which you had uh, put right about cloud provisioning uh, and cloud uh, resourcing, resource management process. So, would you be able to uh, share that link or give us some pointers about the cloud resource management classes? uh yeah i can share i mean uh, give me some time coming week yeah. I, will, i will share the respective links for the topics which i could recollect okay. i will share okay, the respective okay. link for that yeah and this cloud provisioning process is about selecting uh, between selecting ias or pass or sas right what is that uh, or is it something different no it's or is it about the agreement between the no it's it's like uh, provisioning means whether you are uh, uh, provisioning the infrastructure or mm. uh, something like that and uh, it it in terms of automation the question was related to automation so like that like we have cloud cloud form formation and all yes. okay so like that i will uh, do one thing i will uh, put the point and uh, respective link uh, uh, on right hand side of it and share it in the group so that uh, people can find it also they can also we we'll do something yeah that will be really helpful i think this pointers itself are going to be helpful for us right we can also research and find out yes i will do Thank you, Shreeta and Bola. Do you have any questions, or are you still on call? Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, another thing I wanted to ask uh, that uh, right now I'm a developer, so going into cloud computing would be beneficial for. yeah definitely siddharth uh, cloud is where uh, i mean mo most of our applications today are getting deployed in uh, cloud right even very sensitive uh, banking or any such applications it is in cloud uh, maybe private cloud but it is in cloud so if you are a developer and you know how to uh, migrate applications into cloud that will be a big area Uh, the second will be cloud native applications how to build applications which are for cloud 
right those are two major things any developer it is like uh, asking uh, i am a developer do i need to know uh, devops tools right yeah. without without having uh, learned uh, learned how to compile how to um, uh, how to uh, do automatic uh, automated testing you cannot be a developer today Right. The gone are the days where uh, when when we started, I mean, when I started, <laughs> development used to be different, testing used to be different, all these things were different, different teams that did it. But now that's not the case. So similarly, cloud is the uh, mm -hmm. environment in which you're going to have all your development done. Hence, understanding cloud to any depth will help you become a better developer. Now, an awareness level course will help you tell, okay, what should I look for? Right? This is definitely not a, I mean, I, I don't know if they talk about what are the things that a developer should watch out, but you have to understand what is there in cloud, what are the features. Hence, when you develop something, you will, uh, you will have to be cautious. Is my application going into the cloud? Then I should be, uh, th these are things which I should not do, I should do. Right? For that, this will be definitely useful. How many years of experience do you have? What language do you do coding in? So I am uh, right now, like, I'm a fresher only. Uh, I'm doing okay. development in uh, Java and Kotlin. In, uh, like in the industry, they uh, they ask us to uh, know language uh, in a couple of days only. So you have to uh, like, you have to migrate to a different language uh, according to the requirements. So sometimes, uh, Right now, in our company, uh, migrating, uh, dealing in the GCP only. Uh, now they are migrating to uh, AWS also, and as well as the uh, in the uh, development part, we are languages are also variety of languages we are using. Okay, sure. It it will definitely help. So, ma'am, uh, uh, like Ethnus is also conducting a course. That uh, 400 hour course. After that, uh, we have to take the cloud architect, cloud solutions architect uh, uh, assessment. Yeah, see, cloud solutions architect. I would say maybe little, uh, slightly advanced. If you have to uh, decide how to move to cloud and uh, <laughs> right, to him, I'm yeah, I'm a generalist only, but <laughs> I'm trying to answer. Yeah, so I think that's a little bit advanced in that. And listen, until uh, you have some experience, you will not be able to appreciate. Uh, in your current project, let's say you have uh, deployed things, you have seen how performance is, and then you have tuned your parameters, and you've seen how the uh, application is uh, getting used, and you have some that larger experience. That's when an architect kind of a course will be uh, relevant. You can appreciate why certain things are being told. Otherwise, you can definitely. I'm, I'm sure you've done a lot of courses without. Uh, I mean, you 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 learn it without having a lot of practical experience. You can still do that. But uh, as a developer, I don't think you need to go to a solution architect right now. But yes, that's definitely uh, one of the options for you as a career path. Yes. Yeah. First step in that direction is NASCOM system only. Yeah, this NASCOM assessment that we're talking about is a very basic course on understanding cloud. This is, we're not talking about service solution architect uh, assessment here, right? We're talking about cloud practitioner. So who's a cloud practitioner? It's people like you who are developing. You are the practitioner. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. I, I guess uh, Tohin can give a, I mean, thank answer you. in more detail, I mean, related to the development thing, right? Okay. Uh, uh, so as so, uh, I mean, Smita ma'am rightly explained, like uh, the cloud native applications, if we just take a small example, like earlier days, uh, like web developers, they used to develop the website only for laptop and desktop. But now it is no, it has to be the moment I develop it for my company or for personal, yes, it has to be mobile compatible first. So similarly, like when we talk about application deployment or development, like earlier days, uh, yes, uh, as a developer, we used to write the program, compile it, debug it, then run it and blah, 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 college days. Now it's entirely changed. Now you, I mean, we have to have a centralized repository like GitHub. I write the program, I push it. Then uh, maybe Srilata Mam is uh, pushing something. 
then uh, you need to commit something then you get it and build it and deploy it in kubernetes like that so that's that that's how we are working so it's entirely changed the devops scenario has changed entire entire thing and in aws we have lot many development teams like we have code pipelines we have code deploy so many tools are available so if somebody logs into aws management console there are so many services so it's not a mandatory that everybody has to know everything and everybody has to work with every service it's not like that so if i am a, a practitioner yes i will get into it in an overview but if architect will talk something like elastic load balancer developer will not talk on that developer will uh, see the services which are required for his or her i mean requirement so there are so many services like that so this is how but in exam they don't i mean uh, you can't say no this is a part of development i am writing sys i mean sysops or architect no that's not there but few questions are also from development so that's theoretical not at all okay. uh would devops certification be a better option for him then i mean if he wants yes. to stick into devops yes yes but for devops also i guess they recommend you to take solutions architect before you go to devops right that is uh, because that always good to have you should have a strong architectural idea about the platform on which you are actually deploying the application hmm. so that should be uh, definitely a recommended best practice and that is why all cloud platforms are also pro uh, promoting this no azure devops aws devops so it's there developer track is also there Thanks. But the standard of the exam, I mean, it was really good. I mean, I liked it. I thought it it would be very very easy. Like I can do it like anything. But it was not a very easy task for me. Even if I have been teaching AWS since a long time, because I am mainly into practical scenarios. and uh, you can understand my uh, student base is entirely from the corporates they are not i i think somebody called me uh, some days before uh, from nasc oh so uh, though uh, they are from like ibm wipro tca cts they are not college boards so probably they are already working on aws they want to get it i mean in a more realistic way or certified something like that so that's more practical oriented but this exam was like as i said like i could not find the answer of one of the questions and literally after the exam i completed maybe i think at night i had given and after this i started searching i did not find it in aws doc i found it in still now it is there in my laptop because i wanted to show you. it was there in some site which talks about mtech btech level that thing so like like that but it was very good exam because i wrote the aws cloud practitioner also that was very very easy i mean uh, it was very easy. was, was it easy this exam was not easy for me for me no not easy very nice i really liked your <laughs> telling giving people a challenge if they can pass this this is so shrilata was also telling the same thing to him she has also cleared the aws one this is uh, yeah even i found it i mean i can relate to what you said because uh, that acquiring data course that i did i thought i can just pass it but uh, wow. shrilata had done it before and she gave me a warning saying some of the things were out of syllabus yeah, yeah. i did little bit of uh, reading so i could at least pass with one silver but otherwise i would have flunked it to me <laughs> so i am more confident now when i talk about these assessments or i mean initially when i i joined this team only 6 8 months back so i was little hesitant saying mcq how well are they testing it but even though this was mcq i felt unless and until you have done it you cannot answer the question right you so can't. that way it was yeah it was good yeah. you can't because uh, personally i have written aws certified solutions architect exam uh, three times Mm. because normally what happens uh, people when come to me they ask sir are you certified in the current version right now solutions architect it is c03 that is the okay. latest one recently launched so i need to get certified because this students are not college students mm. uh, the stu uh, these candidates always challenge me mm. if i say something no you are saying something wrong so that kind of challenge so the first question is are you certified in this mm. 
that is the first question <laughs> and you can't say yes i am satisfied so uh, i mean share the number anybody can check whether you are satisfied yeah, yeah. or not that's can hide it but this exam because i thought ki this exam could be government a logo fine kaise hoga exam easy so i thought ki i am satisfied i booked the exam and immediately i wrote the exam then i found no it was not very easy and i did not achieve that gold also it was silver <laughs> but it was good very good we need your testimonial we should record your <laughs> testimonial for the assessment our assessment support is challenging me anjana you bring one question which is not covered in the paper and no, i will course. yeah in the course you bring the topic and then i'll take you i said no no everybody is telling me this he's like you bring the topic if it is not there then we will i'll take your point so obviously i couldn't challenge i was telling shilata the same thing you give me some topic which i can ask him back <laughs> that this is not there so topics are all there but uh, you know like uh, i mean you can dig into any level yeah. there is no syllabus for any kind of this kind of certification it's not a standard 10 or standard uh, 9 exam you can't say when you say ec2 instance so there could be lot of things see they could have given lot many very simple question but uh, uh, the question that was asked from ec2 that was something else like it was related to cloud watch so if you have done ec2 and if you have related that to cloud watch then only you could understand like what is metric and what are the metrics that are to be monitored for uh, monitoring the performance of the ec2 mm-hmm. instance so once you done that practically then only it's possible otherwise not possible <laughs> that thing or else you know the question and answer yeah otherwise not we need to leak the paper otherwise <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, i will uh, make my students at least at least 8 to 10 uh, candidates i will make them sit within this uh, month Ma- make them appear we will get to know your candidates also will get to know what is the yeah. depth and you know how much have they learned i think it's a good test no the way, since they would have already done mm-hmm. the course but why why i am taking time because i need to give them some points also no otherwise they will say it was not taught by you yeah i don't put myself into danger <laughs> because there are certain things which are not required to pass the certi- i mean solutions architect exam at all professional level okay so i will just give them some tips which i got and then i will make them sit because they have to pass ultimately they have to pass if they fail they will say सर इज द सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट कैसे देंगे ये तो बिगिनर लेवल ये भी पास नहीं कर पाया कैसे होगा दैट्स व्हाई आई एम टेकिंग टाइम आई विल मेक देम सी सो आई विल गेट मोर क्वेश्चंस आई मीन फ्रॉम देम आल्सो सो आई गेस आई विल आल्सो ट्राई टू डू द सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट सर्टिफिकेट I I I have a free voucher or like fifty percent voucher or something for that. But I thought, okay, I'm not going to do it now. Some of my friends are in fact doing, and like they have been asking me. But then I did not want to spend. But to pass NASCOM, I guess we need the legit packet. Ah, NASCOM exam is really good. <laughs> very nice i i am very happy with the feedback yeah actually it's good right if the test is really stringent no? it's not like anyone can that's what they are so trying to say really works, yeah. i was like telling him are you trying to design something like oh i have got from harvard you know like okay, a passing and all he's like wow that is the kind of branding we're looking at i'm like no no i don't want that i want people to pass it but yeah maybe uh, because it's a very subsidized uh, you know pricing they want it to be passed only by people and also it is reimbursed if you pass it so i mean you get some 1000 rupees for free course uh, back so then they want the content to be at least good yeah it should be otherwise the value of the certification will not be there correct sc c3 a uh, lot of new question dumps have come up now or It's still yeah 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 okay. i will share i will share the dumps uh, i mean if you want i can share that also okay okay c03 yes a couple of topics have been added over there mm mm-hmm. of topics there are changes yeah they are adding services like anything right i think anything, anything, <laughs> yes. dashboard is like anything i mean 
although they give enough time like if you are working uh, with s3 mm -hmm. so they give the option no like you can opt for the new uh, option i mean look or you can continue to use so at least 3 4 months they give chance but it's like developing like anything better we can have a testing module on this and uh, that also we can promote by this ah i mean i don't know how will yeah. aws take it they may make before that i think some people would like to clear aws solution architect so that that they don't take it as a challenge that ours is easier so yeah <laughs> that's true thank you so much to him i mean i did not expect you to come with such a good presentation and prepared with so many questions and i think that's the advantage of having a prior knowledge you remembered the question otherwise yeah. somebody else might have forgotten it that is the point i could remember yes. because i knew those things that's why i could remember thank you very much i also asked him if you remember any thing please note down note it down otherwise we can able to follow that which one no no he shared the whole presentation bola yeah, yeah. i think i, I think the ma'am i am uh. telling that day i met him that i met him personally also it okay, will be helpful for us to do that yeah. them yes definitely okay. <laughs> i'll share the slide deck and uh, i will also put the i mean uh, urls uh, yes, you can sir. follow that also yes sir i think that's very helpful i'm going to put the recording of the session in the uh, group for everyone's uh, and if you can share the deck it will be like just sone pe soaga that's yeah, all is needed share the link it's in google drive only so i can just share the link anybody can open it thanks then thank you very much uh, for giving me the opportunity to speak here thank you very much nice meeting thank you so to in we yeah. should keep in touch i sure. think you are our next mentor we are looking yeah, up yeah. to you with like you know yeah. glowing anytime. eyes <laughs> for anytime. aws anytime anytime yeah Thank, right. you so much. thank you so thank much thank you so much thank you thank you to me thank you uh, thank you very much thank you everyone thank you everyone bye anjana he is a uh, assure expert also not limited to aws right okay no, no. Yeah, yeah. okay yeah 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 <laughs>